Hi, welcome back to the Blind LP of Ace Attorney Investigations 2 Prosecutor's Path. We are now going to begin, uh, begin on the next part, which I believe is um, we are visiting his mansion again. Detective Bat, thank you for helping us earlier. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for what? <laughs> There's no need to be shy about it. Enough about that. I suppose you intend to investigate today too? Of course. We still need more information to prove Mr. Master's innocence. I'm sorry, but apart from this patio, you're not allowed to investigate anywhere else. What? So you're, in you're saying we can't investigate? I'm guessing this is Von Karma's doing. Yeah. Von Karma's a bit on age at the moment. He still hasn't received the autopsy report. He's so agey that he might kill someone today. Moreover, the only ones in this mansion are Miss Hall and the police. So, don't get your hopes up. On speaking with the people are connected. Von Karma has been completely unreasonable. He's gone too far. Detective Bird, what do you intend to do? I promised I'll do anything I can to assist you. You have my thanks. We won't let any of Von Karma's dirty tricks get the best of us, right? Detective Bat, is it alright if we investigate the fountain patio? Yes, but we've already finished checking everything. Except except for the fountain. Thank you for telling me that. That's fine, as long as there is still something I shall continue investigating. Investigation. Start. Alright, so let's look at the fountain. These angel statues look like they're eating chocolate fondue, but it's not chocolate, so... It would seem, these angel statues are also Pierre Hockey's words. Man, if only it was real chocolate, that would be fine. As expected, they're very well made. Looks just right, like the real thing. Now I feel like chocolate fondue. So, you've seen a real angel before, Detective Bat? Um, Defense attorneys. Always the ones to find fault with everything. Hmm, perhaps it was wrong of me. Perhaps. Well, I've investigated the fountain. What do you have to say, Ray? Raymond, could we talk for a bit? Shut in, Miss Aja. Fire away. What a case. Raymond, have you not noticed anything about the case? A lot, actually. Um, Mr. Dover's body was found in Mr. Master's room. Yeah? Don't need that. And we found the mur murder weapon, that rock salt lamb, in Mr. Jesus' candy castle. Yeah? <sighs> Mr. Jesus' desserts aren't so grimy anymore, huh? Yes, you're right. And Kate looks sad too. I asked you to note, not to don't. <laughs> huh? Did I do something wrong? I'm getting a little worried about you, your future. That's a good concern. It's... yeah, yeah. This case was your first investigation, huh, Raymond? Was? Is. Is. I think it should be Is. Is there a deeper meaning behind that? Probably not. Yes, I, and I've been taking memos on everything that's happening. It's really an inspiration to be, investigation with, to be investigating with you, Miss Adra. You aiming to be a, an attorney? Not a detective? Yeah, defense attorneys are heroes of justice who help those in need. The moment I saw how amazing Miss Ageworth was in court, I decided to be his apprentice. But... <laughs> I knew it. Detectives also defend people. But I really have my heart set on becoming a defense attorney. Give it up, Detective Bad. 
Meh, you said so. Well, good luck then. How decent of you. Perhaps Detective Bat wants an apprentice too. Perhaps. I guess he can have gumshoe if he wants. Inside a piano. It seems his musical instruments were used to increase of cake. Of course, these probably aren't made of candy, obviously. Detective Brad looks somewhat disappointed in you. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, he likes candy, I forgot. The investigation is underway, only authorized personnel beyond this point. And I, authorized personnel. Sorry, authorized personnel are prohibited too. I guess that means no one can enter. That is Von Karma's orders. I can't stand a guy. Yeah, don't worry. We'll get what's coming to him in here. It's, it's a figure of Santa Claus. I, I suppose it's also made of candy? Behind that door is Master's room. This Santa is probably another one of his words. You think it might be candy? Santa, huh? I wonder what I should get my son for. Christmas is here. Um, uh, well, firstly, you are a bit late because it's already the 25th. Secondly, let's not talk about it, shall we? Let's not talk about the not so distant future. I think he said he wanted an attorney's badge. I wonder if I could ask Mr. Master to, to make him one out of candy. Um, I'm not sure he likes candy though. The investigator would- okay, fine. Reindeer? No? What an amazing trophy. It's probably Master's world's greatest pastry chef, huh? It's also made out of candy. It doesn't seem like it would last long. Then there's no point. Honor and glory don't last long. I think that's a lesson here. I don't think it's quite as stupid as that. My goodness. What an amazing trophy. Wait. Where does this elevator go? To the second floor. Master and Hall's quarters. Apparently on the days off, Master makes candy and holds tea parties upstairs. But if it's a, but it, but if it's a nice day, they probably have it in the gardens or something. That sounds nice. I can invite when the case is over. Would you like to come too, Detective Bad? You're wasting your breath. I don't fraternize with attorneys, but they'll be candy. Many of the trophies that Master has received are pleased too. Besides dessert, besides dessert contests, there are also works, awards for his charity work, an evident display of both his skill and character. Mm. Hmm? This trophy is to recognize the TV program Piece of Cake for giving children hopes and dreams. Hopes and dreams. Now I want to see it too. Um. This leads to delicious room. This snowman here is rather eye catching. It's made from powdered sugar. Oh, powdered sugar. Hmm. He's staring at it quite intently. I hope he's not thinking of sneaking a taste. I hope not. Two. Are you going to say the same thing? Yes, you are. How about the tree? Can I investigate the tree? No. Oh, Hall is here. We can talk to her in a while. Let me examine this. Uh, Alright, fine. Hmm. In a while. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Miss Hall, I've come to investigate today. Ah, Monsieur and Shrub, I apologize for my disgraceful behavior earlier. Kate, she still looks a bit down. What Master said earlier must have been a real shock to her. I've prepared the photo I took of the desserts during the semi finals. Oh, yeah, we were gonna look at that, right? Please. Take a look. Alright. We have a unicorn, we have a phoenix, and we have a 
butterflies on uh, flower face. Wow, delicious cake, so cute. Monsieur Mosso also praised the design of delicious work very highly. Monsieur Gastivia and Dover's works gained high praise for both taste and design, but. I wonder what get Gastivia's is supposed to be. Monsieur must have said he felt like he was eating the exact same thing twice. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, it, they do look kind of the same. But it seems that the desserts had completely different tastes for the finals. Was there anything else that was different between the finals and the semi-finals? It's nothing major, but there was something. During the contest, Monsieur Castelbia's son always came to see him, but... There was no sign of him at the finals. Hmm. Hmm. His son came to visit. I wonder if there is any significance behind that. Would you mind leaving this photo with me? Certainly. Anything to aid in your investigation? I forgot her voice completely, actually. And here's the recipe book that contains a special drug for curing taste disorders. Alright, oh, that too. That cover looks familiar. Oh yeah. Wasn't this framed in, Miss, in Master's room? Since it's also the prize for the contest, we put it out on display. Eh? So the contest red prize, Angel's recipe, is to cure taste disorder? Wasn't this a recipe for desserts? That's right. We've informed the participants, but it seems we all don't know yet. So the participants knew about the true contents of the Angel's recipe. Hmm. Miss Hall, please tell me all you know about the Angel's recipe. So, the Angel's recipe contains the formula for the drug. Yes, it's a recipe book for new drugs that haven't been released to the public yet. It's sold to a farm... I always have problems with this. If sold to a pharmaceutical company, I'm sure it would fetch a substantial price. Hmm. Why? Is something like that a prize in the contest? Monsieur Master is the only heir to the chairman of the Master Group. Master Group? The name sounds familiar. They're a pharmaceutical company who deal in a wide range of products. Ah, they've become big news recently with the release of Cold Killer X. Um, I often use Cold Killer products, the Cold Killer products, but I've never seen you. I've never once seen you with a cold. I would like to hear more about the Master Group. Okay. Did Mr. Master not want to follow in his parents' footsteps? Monsieur Master wanted to bring joy to people with his desserts. His parents also wanted him to become a great pastry chef and supported him, okay? When his parents died, the recipe book was left to him as his inheritance. What? Why would he give away a memento of his parents as a prize in the contest? There were always people who loved it. Something which troubled Monsieur Master, but just giving away the memento would have been disrespectful to his parents. So he decided to pass it over to someone he acknowledged. And the members of the Master Group approved of that. So, Delicia has a motif, I guess. Everyone would, but Delicia is a pharmacist. Information about new drugs being passed on to outsiders. Of course, they objected. That's why. They should participate in the contest. Wait, sorry? On the order of the master group, she was requested to win the championship. Oh. You knew Delicia's true identity from the start. Yes, in order for her to win, I told her Monster Master's tastes and preferences. 
Why did you help her? I helped her in order to prote protect Monsieur Master and the Master Group. If the drug recipes are given to another company, he would be reprimanded by the board. I wanted to return the recipes to the company in a way that Monsieur Master would accept. So it was due to Miss Hall's help that Jisha was able to reach the finals. I see. I see now. That makes sense. Speaking of which, Mr. Dover wasn't a passion chef either. He sure did well to make it to the finals considering he was just a sculptor, yes. Yes, for him to be able to make such fine tissues despite being a sculptor. From the surface sculptures he made for the finals, it's clear to see if he has great talent, but... Could he really have made that by himself? Did Dean Gustavia help him? That is all I know. Is there anything else I can do to help? To see if Mr. Master, she's trying to help as much as she can. May we perhaps have some of that tea from yesterday, please, Miss Hall? I'm sure that we should help us get on with the investigation. Yeah, I'd like some more cake stick too. Right, understood. I'll be back in a minute. Kate look I I mean Kate looks a bit better now. Let's save. Okay, so what what? Do I talk to bat? What? The investigation. What do you think about doing case detective bat? The police's opinion is the same as Von Karma's. But I don't buy that. The investigation of this patio is also lacking as well. I have already talked to the labbies. You can ask them anything you want, okay? I appreciate that. Thank you, Detective Bat. Um, I'm not really doing it for you. It's just one investigation I can approve of. Alright. His voice hurts my throat. Hey, Levy. What are you investigating exactly? See, I'm testing the fo the water in the fountain for uh, for it. I I don't know how I'm not speaking that right. For a matter, sir. Have you found anything? It seems as both chocolate and sherbet mixed in with mixed in with the fountain water. It matches the chocolate from Jeff Master's room. And the sherbet that melted in Isaac Dover's room. They all share the same composition, alright. The fountain water circulates through the streams that flow from each of the four rooms. Perhaps the melted sherbet flowed into the fountain. Also. Also, someone's blood was detected as well, okay. Should be Isaac Dover's then. What are you saying? What are you saying? How could there have been blood in the fountain? Detective Bat, please think back to our investigation of the crime scene. Detective Bat, please look at the crime scene carefully once more. The blood scene that should have remained at the crime scene has disappeared. Okay. I forgot all about it. I definitely didn't get any reports about the blood scene being cleaned up. The blood disappeared from the crime scene. Also, part of the treasure chest was missing too. Man, this is really getting complicated. Perhaps the blood in the fountain belongs to this person. I mean, you know, there's only one dead person. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm, <laughs> the victim. Let's run a comparison with the blood on the murder weapon. It's a match. The blood in the fountain is Zovas. I wonder why the criminal spilled the victim's blood into the fountain. Beats me. Um, we don't know. Wait, it, was it on a piece of cloth? Um, if it was on a piece of cloth, maybe somebody washed the cloth off. Washed it off the cloth. It, was it on a piece of cloth? We've gathered information about all the contestants. And yet, we still haven't heard the Gustavia side of the story. That reminds me. Why did you enter Mr. Dover's room, Mr. Gustavia? 
Oh well. Ah, oh, well, I forgot his voice. That was because. Silence. Silence, ignoramus. You are not to give that attorney the tiniest hint of information. When it, what exactly was he doing in Mr. Dover's room? And moreover, something is odd about his semi final entry. A pastry chef better to design and a sculptor. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. I think they might have had a. I forgot what's the word. They might have cooperated with each other. It might have been extremely difficult for either of them to win the contest alone. Could it be that Mr. Garcia and Mr. Dover's connection is... Detective Bad. Oh no, Detective Bad. We have reason to suspect the actions of Dean Garcia. Yeah. It is imperative that we find a way to contact him at once, please. Um... This conversation is most interesting. I knew it. I mean, I forgot his voice, but I tried my best. However, I cannot allow you to speak with Mr. Gosevia. Von Karma. I have already conducted my interrogation of him. It is not necessary for him to speak any further, especially to a mere defense attorney. Tush, tush, tush. But I will answer your questions in the full space. No, I don't believe you. You're not gonna answer anything. Don't answer anything. It seems Von Karma intends to prevent me from meeting a savior in person. I understand. In that case, I have but one thing to ask you. Are you gonna lie? Yes. I would like to know the relationship between Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover. Oh my god, he's just gonna lie. Don't ask him. Gustavia's and Gustavia's and Dover's relationship. It's obvious the only relationship they had was that they happened to participate in the same contest. I knew he wouldn't tell the truth. That's it. Boom. There's nothing more to say. What? How are we supposed to understand anything from so little? If we want Von Karma to divulge the truth, we have no choice but to present evidence. It's all too obvious that he's hiding something. You want me to present evidence? Gustavia and Dover's relationship is obvious the only relationship they had was that they happened to but yep. Oh, is that all? Maybe the connection between the two two is a persecution at a, at a disadvantage. Mr. Gustavia had and Mr. Dover should have something in common. I should enlighten Von Karma on this fact. Okay, so there's only two statements I can present on. And, uh, probably it's this one. It's obvious the only relationship they had. Police. Let me see what I can give you. Hmm. No? Uh, I want to present this. But I'm not sure whether that's counted as proof. No. Instant camera. No. You know what? I guess that's the only thing that I can present. So... Objection. Let's do it. Prosecutor Von Karma, I'd like you to look... To look, oh, there's something wrong with my pronunciation today. To look at these desserts. The desserts were made for the contest's semi finals. Don't you think these two have a particularly impressive design? Oh, just what are you getting at? These two desserts were made by Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover. I wouldn't exactly call Mr. Gustavia's design skills praiseworthy. And yet, for the semi-finals, he was able to produce something comparable to Mr. Dover's. Furthermore, these two desserts have the exact same flavor. What are you trying to say? Hmm. Well, 
I'm saying it's possible they are collaborated with each other. Yes, collaboration, that's a word. With each other on their entries. Prosecutor Von Karma, please take a closer look at their desserts. At first glance, they may look completely different. But even though the designs are different, it's clear they were made from the same materials. Yeah. Is it so? The same flavor and composition. It's impossible to dismiss their similarity as coincidence. The very existence of these two desserts points to a link between Mr. Basuvia and Mr. Jericho. Home. Since you already know this much, I'll tell you the truth. Good grief. Did Warren Carman know about the collaboration? Obviously. However, what I'm about to say is not going to help your case at all. Great. If you want to know about Gustavia and Dover's connection so badly, I'll tell you. Are they... Father and son? No way. Is that it? Am I right? Is Isaac Dover really Gustavia's son? Last night when I interrogated Gustavia, he told me about his connection with Dover. A little day before the finals, they worked on their desserts together. You knew about their cooperation all this time, didn't you? Liar. You white-haired liar. Why would you conceal the truth? I would appreciate it if... I would appreciate it if you didn't sully my reputation. Until I explain my points in court, I avoid giving away unnecessary details. I was merely saving you time. How can he act like this and keep the truth from us? His concealment of the truth is some... Son is something I simply cannot ignore. Right. If you want to know about Gusevia and Dover's connection so badly, I'll tell you. Last night. Wait a minute. So do I press? Alright, alright, I'll press it. Let's not press. There's a press button. Oh, there we are. Last night, that was after Mr. Dover's corpses had melted, right? Yes, after which I went to interrogate Gazivia personally. Interrogate by, interrogated by Von Karma? Uh, sounds scary. Scary. Knowing Mr. Gazivia, I feel like he probably tried to meditate through the interrogation. The moment he closed his eyes, I snapped my fingers like so to show him that no one remains silent in front of me. Didn't it that have any effect? Because of that, I was able to get a perfect confession about his connection with Dover. Yeah, so, can you, like, tell me? I'm sure that's not the confession. <sighs> Why do you think Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover collaborated? Why? Because Gustavia had poor design sense and Dover was a novice at, Dover was a novice at making. But what links them together? What made them cho choose each other? How would they know? Is it because they're father and son? That's my point here. Without the help of each other, they would have never made it in true a single round. If so, what was your mutual goal? Yeah. Why cooperate until the finals? Yeah. The finals will be fought on our own merits. Gustavia... Oh, okay fine. Gustavia said, and he ended their collaboration. Gustavia's goal was to obtain the world title of the world's greatest pastry chef. It seems his pride as a pastry chef won out in the end. Victory in the fight! Victory in the finals would certainly have been hollow had he cheated. <gasps> I'm having an idea now. What if, what if, what if, what if Isaac Dover was, really, Gustavia's son? And he scalps because he does not have Gustavia's taste of food. And he wants, he wants, he admires his father. He wants to be a pastry chef, but he, because he can't taste. So, he wants to win this recipe to cure himself. That he would 
be the most perfect person ever because he can sculpt and he can cook, bake, I mean. How about that? What a theory. I mean, don't tell me if I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. Probably. I don't know. Sometimes it just... I'm, I'm just not right. It's just a theory. Don't tell me. So, he believes that your corporation only went as far as the semi-finals. But what if it really continued through the finals? Prosecutor Von Karma, could you explain the co cooperation in a little more detail? Hmm, very well. Why? Because Gustavia had poor design sense and there was a no visit picking. Am I supposed to? Oh my god, I need to stop here. Concerning your statement about Mr. Gustavia's designs, I have no objections to that. Man, if I got this right, people are not gonna be pleased with me. But yeah, I'm just throwing out ideas. I have no objections either. He's got no sense of style. When I saw him attempting to fashion my likeness with candy. What? Mm, just thinking about it disgusts me. I actually liked his candy crafting dough. <laughs> and all this pastry chef and one with no sense of taste design. It's only natural such pathetic specimens would associate with each other. Their cooperation lasted only until the semi-finals. For the finals they were on their own. Mr. Master said Mr. Dover was the favorite to win at the finals. Which means he must have been still been cooperating with Mr. Gansevier at the time, right? Yes, that is what I believe. I must have evidence that proves they still cooperated during finals. If you had it. Okay, so... On the new statement... Alright, let's see. Okay, so like, I'm not sure whether you can hear the noise outside. There's like drilling going on, and other than drilling, there's the thunder. It's gonna rain soon, probably. It's so dark. All right, so let's see. I guess I'm supposed to present something here that um, shows your cooperation lasted until the semi-finals. No, until the finals. So if I were to... If I were to look... I guess not. Fake desserts, that's delicious. Delicious, delicious. Mention key. No fingerprints were found. Okay, wait. Made by Pierre. Okay, Jeff's fingerprints were found. I don't think that's it. Notes on the crime scene. Okay, let's read that again. All the desserts. Okay. You know, there's that thing. But that doesn't prove anything, so... Um, found near the body. Contest rules. Nope. 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 I have no idea. The first blood was found in, in the fountain of water. What? What am I supposed to prove? Liar heart was very salty was most delicious. And this? Alright, okay. Weird. You say that Mr. Gasavia and Mr. Dover did not collaborate during the finals. <gasps> Master Jeff. He ate the liar and he found it tasty. But it's salty. Is 
It's because of his sense of taste, right? I mean, I don't know where this is going yet, but that's the part that he was judging because he found it tasty, because it was salty. But that's the only part that Isaac Dover made, perhaps, right? The other parts of it was made by Castilia. Just uh, strange. Delicious testified that Dover's sherbet, sherbet was most delicious. Being a novice chef, I doubt he could have done all that by himself. Perhaps the two of them cooperated during the finals as well. Defense of truth, how many times do I have to tell you? Delicious cones subjective to opinion, subjective opinion, cannot be admitted as evidence, oh my god. That's strong win. There's still a chance that a novice chef could make something tasty. No. My wife is an amateur, I pity your wife. Yet her cooking rivals that of a world of world class chefs. At least, at least you still love your wife, I guess. Unless you only love her cooking skills. Alright, there, there was an interruption. Okay, I hope there's no more interruption. How is that How is that not a subjective opinion? Moreover, even if you take this pharmacy's testimony to be true, it changes nothing. She also mentioned that a part of it. Her sherbet was very salt. Oh my god, my voice is all mixed up. She also mentioned that a part of his sherbet was very salty, which means you can hardly call his entry for the finals perfect. No, 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 we got it, we got it, we got it. What? No more objections? Is there no way I can prove the collaboration? Hey, Miss Adria, there's something that's been bugging me. He's getting it, he's getting it. Come on, catch up to me. What is it? The desserts Mr. Dover made for the finals would have taken a long time to make, right? Indeed, they were frozen sculptures after all. I would have had the time to sculpt it after it was frozen. What? What? Let alone help Mr. Casivia with his design as well. Oh no, Ray, what? <gasps> the way I see it, just waiting for the sherbet to freeze would have used up all of his time. I don't get it. What, what, what is your point? Just waiting for the sherbet to freeze would have used up all of his time, alright. So does that mean that he made it by himself after all? I don't get it. Hmm, <laughs> just how was he able to make those sherbet sculptures? I don't know. Raymond, you may have a promising future after all. Thanks to you, I have noticed one more possibility. What? No. That's right. Mr. Dover's sherbet needed time to freeze properly. And the contest time limit would not have been enough. The method Mr. Dover used to make his sherbet within the time limit was... It was prepared in advance, it was frozen on that day, they weren't desserts. So it's either it was prepared in advance or they weren't desserts? No, let me check. Let me check. They weren't desserts? Was most delicious. No, no, definitely desserts. So, prepared in advance. If the sherbet was prepared in advance, all he needed to do was sculpt it. You. 
Just what are you mumbling about? Please excuse me. I finally realized something. I, I did. Your earlier view was correct. Hey, Miss Angel. What are you doing? Oh, so you're finally admitting defeat. No, all I'm admitting to is the truth of one of your statements. Tuva and Gustavia's collaboration lasted only until the day before the finals. Aha! So he was being very tricky about it. It is exactly as you said. They only cooperated until the day before the finals. Aha! So the sculptures in Mr. Dover's room were all made out of sherbet. Such an amount would most likely need to be left overnight to freeze. Which means Mr. Gustavia prepared Mr. Dover's sherbet in advance the day before. Hmm. That's right. So you realize. Well, serious cooperation, dude. Dude! Honestly, oh my god. Come on. You're such a... Such a cheating liar. Then why did Mr. Gover... To, then why did Mr. Dover not help Mr. Gustavia in return? The views of the great are of no concern to me. Have you ever entered the Gustavia's room? I don't remember what his desserts look like. If you aren't going to answer that, I'll need to get in touch with Mr. Gustavia himself. Or was your interrogation not quite as thorough as you claim? Alright, I thought it froze for a moment. That was scary. You ingrate. You dare mock me. That was not my intention, but you, I do have a problem with your attitude. I want you to give us a clear reason why we can't speak to Mr. Gustavia in prison. Let us see his room. Okay, I'm back at a different time from earlier on because I was interrupted. So I had to come, stop and come back later, which is now. So we'll continue from here. Hmm, a clear reason? Gustavia and Dover's collaboration has no bearing on this case. You claim their collaboration is irrelevant. If Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover's relationship had turned sour, it could serve as a motive for murder. You are saying that Gustavia and Dover's collaboration was linked to the motive for the murder. If that were the case, why did he not conceal it? After all, we found out about these collaborations from Gustavia himself. Mm, well, true, but we are bound to find out about it uh, sooner or later. If you are a lawyer, show us evidence that gives us reason to suspect Gustavia. Uh, only one of Mr. Gustavia's actions has been suspicious so far. Topless Von Karma already knows of this fact. This could be a trap by Von Karma, perhaps. Oh, what's wrong with that? Are you not going to answer? What am I in back down now? Mr. Gustavia sneaked into Mr. Dover's room. His reasons for this are currently unclear, but the very fact that he secretly entered the victim's room is reason enough to suspect him. Mm, well... Oh, that's the extent of it. I can dispel those doubts. I knew it. Was it a trap after all? I was intended to save this for the courtroom, but I'll make it a special exception. We wouldn't want to prolong the trial of unnecessary information, would we? Take a look at this. Right, of course. So, yeah, so that's Dean Gasevia, that's Isaac Dover. Oh, no. No, 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 no. They're not father and child. They are... I guess they are the, their, their children. Their children know each other in school. Then they're like the parents, I guess. This is a vo photo of Gasevia and Dover and the sons. Right. 
Okay. Goth Sivia entered Dover's room in order to steal this photo. Why would he do that? To steal the photo? As soon as Sans attended the same elementary school, apparently he thought that he'd be suspected if people found out he and Dover were acquainted. Alright. Yes, just like what you're doing now. Wait. But when was it that he entered? Excuse me, I had to yearn. When was it that he had to end that that he entered the room? Did he was he even uh, did he even know about the murder? I don't think so. As it, as in he was not supposed to know about the murder officially at least, right? No. I was murdering suspicious about God's serious actions. No further room for argument. Hmm. So my father and child theory was wrong. Well, that was silly then. Oh well. Okay, he's still a demon or not adamant. Adamant, right? He's still adamant on not letting us meet with Mr. Gustavia. I have an investigation to return to. I have no more time to waste on the lives of you. Hmm. Well... Curse that Von Karma, calling us a waste of time. What should we do? Mr. Adriel? At this rate, Mr. Jeff will be... What? Von Karma is busy? Of course, why would he be so busy? Both the mod body and murder weapon have, or have been found, and he already has his suspect. The police should have more than enough evidence to prove Ma Mr. Master's guilt. He's busy doing his own evidence. If that's the case, then why is Von Karma still investigating the crime scene? Ms. Ajwa, is there something wrong? It seems I have been overlooking a matter of vital importance. Considering that he already has evidence he needs to convict Mr. Master, I feel that Von Karma isn't as composed as he should be. Alright. He didn't even tell Detective Bat the full results of the investigation. I bet he doesn't know who did it either. Yeah. Von Karma is a bit on age at the moment. He still hasn't received the autopsy report. Okay, that is most strange. Why not? Furthermore, something vanished from the crime scene and we still don't know why. Detective Bat, please look at the crime scene carefully once more. Are we talking about the blood again? The blood stain that should have remained at the crime scene has disappeared. Yes, yeah, somebody wiped it and washed it off. I definitely didn't get any reports about the club blood stain being cleaned. Oh wait, we've already read that. But the strangest thing we found wasn't in Mr. Master's room at all. The match, the blood in the fountain, is Dovas. Mr. Dovas blood had vanished from Mr. Master's room and somehow found its way into the fountain. What does this mean? Oh god, he's using logic. Oh, um, yeah, well, hmm. Hmm, oh no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Bloodstain disappeared and blood in the water fountain, yeah? That should be good. We, we should be fine. Although the victim's blood wasn't found in Mr. Master's room, it was detected in the water fountain, yes. There would be no need for the killer to conceal the bloodstains after the body was found. Unless...
I'm not sure unless it's not his own blood. It's not the victim's blood? What? It's unnatural that only the blood stains that were found with the body disappeared. Unless the body was moved, the blood would have still remained on the chocolate. Alright. Don't tell me. Someone removed the body? And then erased the blood stains? What? You just have to lift him up a little, right? You really need to remove the body? Blood vanished from the scene because the body was removed. Oh, I don't get it. I might get it later on. I hope. Oh my god. No autopsy report was the body removed, but what? Does this mean? Hmm. It's possible that the body was removed from the crime scene and the autopsy report still has not arrived. Although we have a murder weapon and a suspect, we don't know much about the body. I've been investigating under the assumption that the body had been discovered. Wait. Wait, what? Perhaps this assumption was wrong from the very beginning. Why didn't Von Karma give Detective Bat the autopsy report? I don't know. To understand it, yes, I must turn my logic around. I must totally think out of the box, you know? My thinking shouldn't be why is Von Karma hiding information about the body? But rather, what if Von Karma doesn't even have the information to begin with? Alright. What happens if I think of it like that? Nothing happens. It's not, nothing is happening. I can't think of anything. Oh my goodness. It's possible that the body wasn't removed by the police for autopsy. It's possible that the body wasn't removed? It was moved and hidden by the real killer. No, I don't get it. Oh, did his body disappear? Wait. Did his body disappear? It's there. I don't get it. Miss Adria, please enlighten me. I have no idea what you're talking about. I've heard many dark rumors surrounding Ron Karma. He's a prosecutor who forges evidence, fabricates testimonies, and makes backroom deals. Yeah, I've heard it too. But what does that have to do with this? I try to avoid judging the others based on rumors. And I didn't let those rumors influence my opinion on Von Karma. Until today. It seems he is a man who would distort the truth. I don't get it. Please enlighten me, Gregory. Distort the truth? You don't mean forgery? I do. And I can't allow him to get away with this. Gregory, I have no idea what you're talking about. But I must stop you from doing what you're about to do. Ready, seriously, please stop. I must return to the prosecutor's office for now. Not a word on that attorney. Roger. Hey. Oh no, no, please, please. Please don't do it. What do you want, defense attorney? I want to know the truth that you've been hiding. Phil, are you trying to mislead the police's investigation again? If you interfere with the investigation anymore, I'll be forced to reprimand you myself. Police? No. My objection is with you. Goodness. Oh, God. What? Is, isn't it a prosecutor's job to ensure justice for criminals? Home, um, what are you saying? I've no time to debate the 
job of a prosecutor with you. However, I will tell you one thing. My job is to ensure all those I prosecute are found guilty. Before the perfect proof, there can be no room for doubt. Well, this, whatever it is you do, that definitely do not have the perfect proof. And to find the perf that perfect proof, you would even stoop to forgery. Oh, I was wondering what you were going on about. You intend to accuse me of forgery, don't you? What would he forge, really? Yes. And it's for that reason. You did not allow Detective Bat to investigate. Oh. What do you mean? The real reason Detective Bat wasn't investigating was not so he could keep an eye on us. It was to hide the fact you never found the body. Uh -huh. So, again, that's what was confusing me. Hmm. So now we know for sure. What? They never found the body. You cretins. You will cease these ludicrous accusations. I will not tolerate any further insults. In that case, let us verify the body. If you do, we will have evidence that shows whether I am right or not. Oh. This, this, this. The burden of proof falls on you, defense attorney. Well, you. No, you. Ha if something exists, please. Show us. I have no reason to comply with your baseless conjecture. You must have noticed it too. The lack of blood stains at the crime scene. So why did the blood vanish? And more importantly, where did it go? Foolishness, why would anyone erase just the blood in the chairs that contain the body? Yes, that's exactly right. If the body had been found there, the disappearing blood stains would have no meaning at all. However, what if the body was already gone? To erase the traces of the body being dead, one would have to get rid of the blood stains as well. Why well, make such a false over the blood, those blood stains? It seems like a trivial detail to me. Well, if you have nobody, you cannot prove that it's dead, and you cannot have a case for murder. Because you cannot prove that there's a dead body and that there's someone dead. How about that? Oh, are you saying that you can show me where those blood stains went? Yes, you can. In court, everything must be said with evidence. Isn't that right, Von Karma? In that case, I'll show you the evidence supporting my claim. Which piece of evidence shows wh where the blood in... Mr. Master's room went. Well, the cloth. Um, right? The water, the water. Do I have that? Was found in the fountain water. There were traces of the victim's blood found in the fountain. Traces of Mr. Monster's chocolate were also found in this very fountain. Alright. In other words, the blood was washed down the stream, which then flowed into the fountain. All of this points to only one possibility. After the body was removed, someone erased the blood stains. <laughs> From Karma, where was the body really found? If you really found the body, you should be able to answer. Excuse me? So after he was found in the ship, he was moved somewhere else and that's where the police found him? Oh, how do you know this information? How do you know the results of the water composition test on the fountain? I don't remember. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Because I allowed them to investigate. Bad. Always a thorn in my side. From here on out, I will not allow you to associate any further with this case. <sighs> it's not like you were letting me do much anyway. 
von Karma, you still haven't answered my question. Or are you admitting to the fact that you didn't find the body after all? Tush, tush, tush. You say I never found the body? Where is your evidence? Oh my god. You have a murder case on your hand and that means you have a dead body with you. You need to show me the dead body. He's never going to confess. I have not a further to say to you. Gregory Hedroff, this matter will be decided in court. No. No. We'll see just how well your logic holds up there. Von Karma, I know your methods are wrong. I promise, without fail, I will expose the truth you've hidden. Nope. You mean he got... You mean he got... Read of Gregory because of that? Detective Bat, I'm sorry, it's because you let me investigate that. No, this is bound to happen sooner or later. This is also the first time I've been restricted in my investigation. Your theory that they never found the body sounds pretty close to the mark. That I will make clear in court. Hey, if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Even though I'm no longer in charge of this case. Then, though I'm very sorry about this, I have one more favor to ask of you. Um, well? Hey, what are you guys whispering about? I wanna know, know too. Hmm. This will be my trump cut in court. The information I've gathered up until now should be enough to prove Mr. Master's innocence, really? But if all else fails, I'll have this ready. Your trump cut? <laughs> You'll see at the trial. Well, I get to be at the trial too. Of course, you're my assistant after all. <laughs> I'll be an ace attorney too next year. Alright, you're taking the bar exam, aren't you? Von Karma will never be the two of us. Right. Although I hope to clear Mr. Master's name before you become a lawyer. If Von Karma is to be my opponent, he'll want the trial in the dinner day. That's right, we have to save Master Jeff as fast as we can. After all, this is you we're talking about. I'm sure you'll beat Von Karma. Jeff Master alone in a dark cell, arrested on false charges. I must expose Von Karma's lies if I am to save him. Well then, so that's the end of the chapter or the stage. I have no idea where we're going now. Are we really going into court? For real? For the first time ever in this game? That would be cool, but even if it wasn't, I'd still like to know where we'd head from here onwards. So, until the next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.